Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Scott from toyotaperformance.com. It's that time of the month again where we go over some Toyota truck history. This year we are focusing on, this time we are focusing on the year 1986. It was a uh, sort of a really banner year for Toyota trucks as they um, fully transitioned away from the solid front axle and every truck produced had the independent torsion bar front suspension, which did improve ride handling and probably did impact some of the um, fuel economy numbers as well. So when we take a look here, <clears throat> there are some updated specifications that I really wanted to highlight. Horsepower was increased to 150. You had the ability to order a four speed automatic transition transmission. Interior had true bucket seats. Now at this point in time, they moved the shifter forward a little, giving you more space off that. Um, so you didn't hit the seating. Better fuel economy up to 26 miles per gallon. I, I believe that was probably because of less front end weight. Rear brake drums, they were increased from eight inches to 10 inches, obviously that helped with stopping power, clamping square inches on inside the drum, but also was a safety concern really. You know, now we had something bigger because we were carrying more payloads. And lastly, you had the availability to um, seek this in three body styles, an extended cab as shown here in the picture, a one ton model, which um, had beefier suspension and then the short bed model. But in 2023 here, what does it take to buy one of these classic, you know, Toyota pickups, the small, um, more compact version? Well, here's one from Streetside Classics out of Nashville, Tennessee. You can see the price on here is $28,000. And I think what makes it, um, shoot that high is it's one of the rare turbo 4x4 models. This uh, person who purchased this, they went with a true blue stripe package, you know, and, and that is clearly accentuated with the push bar the bumper up front and the tube bumper in the back and the roll bar, of course, all painted to match. You can get AM FM cassette player and this one had power windows and power locks. Lastly, here's one private seller, $10,000. It is an extended cab model, uh, four by four. Obviously this one is a manual five speed, had a retro front push bar. What's unique about this, it only has 115,000 miles. So when you think about that, we are, well, that's 33 for 37,000 or 37 years, um, we're looking at like 3,000, 3,400 miles a year max. Uh, unfortunately, this one is a, sort of a base model. You can see that with the black painted front bumper, uh, no power accessories, but the uh, owner does have a bed liner. And it looks like some type of um, rack system off by the tailgate there, but um, so there you go. You can get a really fancy one that looks like it's been restored and maintained for about 30,000 or you can get an everyday driver model if you want to have that retro look with the steelies as the wheels and uh, for about 10,000. I want to thank you for listening and look forward to uh, giving you a 1987 next month. Thanks. Bye bye.